So this is a video tutorial on how to program the BioLoid uh, Premium or any BioLoid uh, and make use of this infrared distance sensor here. Oops. Okay, so you can see uh, it's doing something. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to program it to, to do something like this. So, okay, uh, first of all, just show you the back of the robot. So you can see there are several pots for the infrared sensor. Um, in default, when you uh, construct your Type 8 robot, the front sensor is connected to, to this port over here, the front one, uh, the first one here. Uh, but there, there's another one you can put in here, and there's two other ones down there. In total, there are five, all right? So um, if you're not sure which one it is, that's all right. I'm just going to go through step by steps. Uh, everything you need to know to get the thing working. All right, so uh, first you connect your robot USB to your computer and power and all that. Yeah, assume you know all this, so I'm not going to go through the basics. Then you, we need to test the sensor uh, and find out which port it is connected. So we ro go to uh, RoboPlus and click on the RoboPlus. Oops, let's uh, zoom in here. All right, here you go. So we go to RoboPlus Manager. Okay. Okay, now if you can see, here is the RoboPlus Manager. All right, and then we connect it. We select the port, and then we connect it. Okay, I don't want to upload the firmware right now. You can if you want to. All right, and then as you can see, there's another tab called Other Devices. Okay, so here you can see uh, all the control. So some of them, it's the first time you connect to it, it's probably set to none. Like this, in that case, you don't see any numbers. All right, so you got to click all of them to IR. Okay, then you have the address, but you don't have to worry about the address. And here's the value over here. So right now we got zero, 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 and you know we got six ports, and we want to find out which port is connected to the front. IR sensor. So, okay, so we wave our hand in front of the sensor, and you can see port number five here. The number moves as I do that. Um, so, uh, there are other sensors, two other sensors that come with the Bowler Premium. You can plug it into the same port, and it will give you uh, figures as well. The magnitude of the figures will not be the same as this sensors, but you can play around with it. Okay, so we can find out it is port 5. We can switch off Robo Plus Manager. Okay, so now we um, go to the task function, Robo Plus Task. First part is start program and then end it. Uh, you know, you do it with all the other program. And then we call page motion 1 for it to stand up. So when you uh, start the program, it will stand up and you go into a loop. And then you have like, uh, you go to do I sensor equal to port number five. So what you do is you assign a variable here, you type in the name of variable, and you select, um, where is it? Accessories and IR, and you press five, and you got here. And then here, we are just gonna print the line, make sure we, we see it. So we go print line equal to variable. Okay, so we're gonna run it now. So we're going to upload that program to the robot. Do, all right, and then, OK, we're going to flip it to the red, and then press Stop. And now it, it calls the program. OK, so you can see there's a lot of numbers flying on the screen. It's right now 66, but if we move our hand closer toward the sensor robot, you will see that the number is actually rising to 600, 500, 200 and so on. So this show you the distance, it's the same as what we see on the other um, tasks right now. Okay, so now we move on to next thing, which is to tell a robot to do something. Okay, let me see if I have written the code for that. Okay, so basically what this code is saying is, 
uh, the first part is the same as before. If the sensor is 500, so somewhere at like this distance, then it will call page motion 23. Uh, motion 23, according to the robot plus motion, you can just go in. This is the default program that comes with the robot. It just tells the robot to move right, yeah? So what's going to happen is, I'm going to put my hand in front of the robot, and if it's getting very close, then it will shift, move to the right. Okay, so we're just going to try that. Okay, so again, make sure it go to the red on the back, not green, but red. Okay, so uh, if you put your hand in front of the robot, now see, it's gonna be interesting. Oh, it's gonna move. Now that's cool, isn't it? So like this is about 300, 400, and 500. Okay, so similar, you can create your own motion and then make the robot do it. Okay, so finally, you know, you see how the the lamp. Uh, we have another example where the arms of the robot um, moves according to uh, the distance. So here we use the... Um, okay, I don't know if you can see the codes down there. We use the joint offset function. So this first two parts is the same as before. It reads the uh, distance using port 5 in the variable called IR sensor. Going to loop, keep doing that. And it will, and then it will do the offset of the join divide by three, so 600 dot by, so because you don't want it to offset by like 1000 and the arms just go you know back. So you're gonna have an adjustment, so IR sensor divide by three or by five or by two, whatever. Once you do that, you have to do the uh, motion page one, otherwise it, it wouldn't work. Okay, so you have to do, um, so motion page one is basically just standing one static motion, all right? So we're gonna put that code into the, Controller now activate the code so it's red now it's activated. Okay, so he's gonna what he's gonna do. So I'm gonna put my hand in front of it. Okay. So the distance is oh well, that's cool, isn't it? So you can do it with both arms or you can use a similar functions to do um, leg offsets. So there are other ways to do offset for the legs, but this is uh, an easy way. So I hope you guys uh, uh, find this useful, and do comment and subscribe and check out my website. Thank you. Bye-bye.